the fourth down call uh, on that, that first drive of the fourth quarter, just mm -hmm. how important was that? Yeah, big, uh, big play in the game, and, and, re and really we were in four down territory, you know, on second down. So you know, really f uh, fourth and three or less. I was thinking about it, but you know, I, I like to call, and uh, they they obviously called a timeout. We actually changed the call. Uh, so you know, I just like the way we were playing, the confidence and pass protection. Um, you know, we basically went with a with a basic call to Cooper's run a hundred times. So uh, it was well executed, and just had faith in the guys. And on that CD Lamb had the early drop and yeah. big on that drive. Oh, definitely. I mean, CD's going to get the you know, CD's our number one receiver, so that that'll never change. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's I did so many good things in the game, and you know, I, I think you know part of this is September football. Um, you, you see some mistakes, particularly our young guys and penalties. You know, you know, we hit, you know whether it's a drop, uh, we 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 need to improve. We got a lot to correct, uh, but. Um, just love the division win, the complimentary football that we played today. You know, I, it's uh, it's always refreshing. You know, long week, and um, you know, you come up here and you know you're in a hotel all day. And uh, but I, I just think our guys did a really good job executing the game plan, staying after it. And uh, but yes, I mean, excellent win uh, on the road. But you know, we 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 have a lot of work to do. For CD Lamb's uh, drop to Peyton Hendershot, getting a couple penalties in the first half, both of them bounced back. You guys preach resiliency as the word this year. Can you talk a little bit about how that came into play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's you know, it's all about your play style. I mean, and every team is is striving to have a you know an aggressive, dominant, disciplined uh, play style. We're no different. Uh, so. Uh, but to get out there on the edge, you know, it, it's you know, you, you look at some of these penalties two weeks in a row. The primary are young players, and they, and we got to be better, and uh, particularly in the in the pre-snap area. But uh, you know, these guys are aggressive. We you know we we got to stay confident with them. We can't you know start yanking guys after one or two mistakes because that, that just you know it, it inhibits growth. And uh, but I, I think the fact that our team is is a complementary football team that they pick up from one another another always puts us in a in a position to win. I think it was Cooper tonight. I mean, you, we've all talked about his yeah. calmness and confidence, and tonight it's like he came through. Yeah, definitely. I thought Cooper Cooper played very well. Um, you know, he, you know, came out wanted to get him a rhythm throw there, and really on the first play. And uh, you know, I, I thought he did a great job exercising the game plan. We were in a bunch of run checks, you know, um, you know run pass checks, you know, all the way down to the you know the, the, the one third down that you know uh, we had a chance for, for a big play there. So I thought he managed the game very well. I thought Tyler Biad does and managed the. The game, you know, this uh, Don does an excellent job schematically challenging. It gives you a lot to work on, you know, as far as different personnel groups in the, in the scheme. And I thought our guys did an excellent job hitting on it. After that first and 10 at the Dallas 48, that incomplete pass to Lamb, he seemed particularly upset about it over on the sidelines, kind of walking through with some of the guys. Did you have a conversation with them at all? Did he seem uh, that he did bounce back, that he did show resiliency there for you at the end of the game? Oh, Janie, if you want to give me credit, I'll gladly take it. But I did not have a conversation with him. But no, it's uh, no. CD's a fierce competitor, um, and you know, I, you know, there's just certain guys that you know, uh, you, you feel you need to or you don't. The game, it was early in the game, uh, but like I said, you know, the plan was to to get CD involved, and you know, I, I thought he did a good job with his matchup today. Talking a lot about Parsons, but he seems to. Be yeah. Mike, with, with, uh, with Cooper, 13-6, the next Sorry. three drives, he's 12-13 for 129 yards. I mean, he can't get much better than that. Is that just his, un, his ability to not get caught up in the moment? Well, he does get rattled. Um, you know, it, I mean, it's, it was kind of funny. Dak and I were laughing because, you know, coming to the locker room, actually Cooper was the first guy in the, in the locker room. And then uh, PR had to come get him to go out and be interviewed for, you know, so, but that's the guy. He just, you know, he's the same, same every day. Uh, so, so consistent. Uh, but yeah, he's 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 playing good football right now, and, and and I'm glad you're recognizing him for it. So, I mean, he's he's given us the, the ability just to keep playing on offense. So we have we haven't changed anything. Mike, can you address how you kind of piece together on defense. You got Diggs going to the blue tent. You got uh, Tank with the yeah. foot. Micah uh, on obviously a health related pitch count. How it all kind of came together? Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I I think it really starts with our roster. I mean, you, you look at the way we're way we're built. Uh, we got incredible depth on, on defense, and you know it was good to see D you know come back because you know obviously there was a little concern there, uh, but and he had a huge night tonight. So um, you know and and then uh, you know Diggs, you know that was that was a little bit of a scare, uh, but 
you know, and, and Mike and we were just being smart, you know, uh, you know, he didn't want to come out, but, uh, you know, it was the right thing to do and make sure he was fresh, um, you know, make sure he was fresh for the fourth quarter. But, you know, I also want to say this about Mike and Mike was, he was one of the three captains tonight and, uh, you know, he did the call up in the locker room, did a hell of a job. So not only is he a, is a, a great young player, but it, it's really, it's really cool to watch him grow. Besides Mike and DeMarcus, like overall, your defense was really feisty tonight. Lewis, I mean, Wilson, I'm sorry, had a, had a sack for you. He was all over the place. Talk about overall how your defense played. Yeah, definitely. I, I thought the temperament is always, you know, exactly what you're looking for. Um, you know, we made big plays, but, you know, we, we, we came in to stop, you know, Daniel Jones on the scramble and, and Ron and, and, and Saquon, and they, they both had some production. So, you know, we'll, we'll go back and learn from that and, um, and, and be better for it. But, you know, our, our play style is, is where it needs to be, and, and I think our defense does a great job of that and, and sets the tone for us. Coach, uh, second half, you pick up the tempo a little bit. Um, you caught him out on a gap integrity. Was that something you game plan or you changed at uh, halftime? I'm sorry, did, did you said gap and you you talking about the, the, the runs? The, the tempo, you guys, the yeah. offense. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you watch the first first half, we, we were getting down, you know, close on the 42nd clock. Some of that was a product of us rolling personnel and having, you know, at the line checks, they're running, you know, because obviously when, you know, we substitute, they get the substitute. So, you know, some of that is just the mechanics of the game. Uh, but that was something, one thing we talked about at halftime. We, we need to pick the pace up. They obviously went no huddle for the majority of the first half, a little bit in the second half. So, um, but yeah, we, I mean, we weren't in a no huddle. We were just trying to make sure we, we managed, you know, the scheme and the personnel that the Giants were giving us on defense. Jason Peters makes his debut for the Cowboys today in a secondary position, limited count, but impactful springs. Tony Pollard for the 46 yarder. Can you talk about what you Yeah, said? definitely. It was great to get Jason out there. And I mean, just we wanted to be smart. And, you know, I think for the first night, this is, a, this is you know, could have probably got him a little more in the second half, but this was good. You know, we're just kind of trying to stay on a plane of, you know, give him a chance to come back and don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But, yeah, it's it's great to have him part of it. Two wins with Cooper Rush. I mean, this big, big division win. What does this mean? What does this say about your team? Yeah, it, it, it tells what kind of team we have. I mean, these these guys believe in one another. This is an outstanding locker room, um, but accountability is very high. You know, there's definitely, you know, the resilience is there. Um, you, you can see it. You know, every every step of the way. So, um, you know, it's just like anything. Sometimes you got to go through some hard times to get to where you want to go, and hopefully, we're building a good foundation to get where get to where we want to go. Yeah, I think our defense really. Uh, you know, we've talked about this throughout camp. You know, just the expectation uh, is is being met. Um, I, I think our defense really has picked up where where they left off last year. I thought the second half of the season they really came on super strong and, and you know the confidence the continuity the depth you know it's it's uh, you know it's definitely a, a strong part of our football team this week we saw michael gallup tracking and trending like he was going to play on monday i know that sunday's practice was a big one for him doesn't sound like there was any physical setbacks so why the decision not to play him tonight? well i think we all recognize it's more than just the physical you know it, it's you know there's some things that you know, he needed to go through. You know, I, I thought the padded practice was a huge day for him. You know, he had some contested catches, had, you know, two vertical plays on the boundary that were Michael Gallup-esque, you know, was going up, you know, on deep balls. And, you know, he just, we just, he, we just feel like he needs a little more of that. So it's, we just didn't get quite across the finish line. Uh, you, you've been a play caller before. Is Kellen kind of in the rhythm right now? Oh, yeah, I like that. I like really, I really like the game Kellen called. I, I think, you know, just you know, coming out of week one, you know, we, you know our process is, is good. It's the third year of the staff being together. I think he's doing a really good job u using the assistant coaches, and uh, you know we're we're being able to stay aggressive and you know, you know really focus on getting getting Zeke and Tony the ball, and you know we're doing the right thing. So I thought he called a hell of a game tonight. Go ahead. Is that one of the best times uh, we talked about running the ball? And is that one of the best times you've seen the run game since you've been here? Yeah, definitely. We're getting there. You know, it's uh, you, I'd like to think we're what twenty eight rushes. Somewhere. Um, we're, we're close. You know, you, the goal is to get over thirty. And um, but yeah, we're we're getting close to where we want to be. You know, obviously we'd like to have some more point production. You want to be kicking field goals. We want to you know score touchdowns. So uh, we definitely, if you look at the you know the three games we we played, and we're definitely trending the right way. And because uh, the end of the day, it's about ball di distribution and, and and being in schemes that guys can. You know, have white whiteness in their knuckles, get off the ball, and, and go get them. So I think we're doing a much better job of that. Yeah. 
Tony uh, out there out at the end, closing it out a, a little bit. Is that a product of the scheme against their defense, and you just thought his speed was just better? more rotation? Yeah, it, it was. You know, uh, you, you know, obviously we trust trust Zeke and Tony, and, and I, I just yeah, there, there there was no you know one over the other. It was nothing like that. It was just you know, as far as what was called and you know personnel groupings. You know, it was just really Kellen trusting his call sheet. Do we have a quarterback controversy? Hey, everybody, safe travels home. <laughs> so I think we get back a little earlier than you do. Sorry about that.